So today in the gospel, Jesus promises rest for those who are labored and burdened. How are, we, how are we meant to understand the rest that he offers us? Does it mean that if I have a problem, then I go to Jesus and magically it's all solved? For example, I have a debt and I go to God and then the debt is gone? Or I have a, ma a problem in my marriage, I pray to Jesus and he takes away my problems? We know it doesn't mean that. So I was thinking today, how is it that Jesus gives us relief and rest in the midst of our burdens? This is the best answer that I found. It seems to me that when we go through a difficult time in our lives, when we struggle with something, I'll give you an example. When we struggle with a particular sin, we feel in our misery or in our difficulties that we face the problem by ourselves. We feel apart from God. We feel astray from God. And I think this happens also with any sort of difficulty or problem that you may be facing. Normally, problems generate in us the sense of isolation. My problem sinks me in a place of solitude and of being by myself. Problems seem to make us feel that we are distant from other people. So what does Jesus do when he, asks, when he invites us to come to him when we are burdened or when we are laboring? I think that what he's inviting us to do is to discover his presence and his love for us in the midst of the problem. I'll give you an example. Let's go back to the problem with when someone is struggling with a particular sin. It's amazing as a priest when you're in the confessional and you tell someone, today you're coming with all your miseries, today you're coming with all of your sins, and the only thing that Jesus tells you is that he still loves you. And you can feel on the other side of the confessional, in spite of there being a, I don't know what you call it in English, una regia, the experience of the other person is like, oh, wow, I'm not alone in my sin. Jesus still loves me. His heart is still interested in me. So my sense is this, when he invites us to bring us, like to come to him in our labors and burdens, he's telling you, discover that I still love you and that you're not alone in your difficulty. And that makes things so differently, so different, because I insist our problems gives us the sense that we are isolated. So today... Let's do this experiment. Whatever burden you're carrying, whatever you're laboring with, be certain it's better if you bring it to Jesus. It's better if you recognize that you're not alone, that Jesus in his providence knows what you're going through. If you're a mom and you're struggling with a lot of kids and they drive you crazy at some point of the day, remind yourself, Come to me, all those who labor and burdened, because his heart is with you in that moment. His humble heart is there with you. And that's how he makes the burden light, because you rediscover that you're not alone, that you are with him, and that he sustains you in that moment with his loving mercy and his loving providence.